Hey, welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is our review for uh, the legendary game, um, the expansion pack of Fear Itself. It's the only expansion for the villain board game. There, yeah, there are a ton of expansions for the hero game, but because the villain is sort of that already collector's item, they didn't expand as much on that particular uh, sister game. Yeah, and, they, and, they, and the expansion they made, I think, was kind of, was kind of weird. Uh, so I, I like the Marvel comics, you know, so I'm familiar with a lot of the characters, but I wasn't familiar with any of these characters. Um, they're like weird versions of villains that I know. Like, they're called like Griath the Breaker of Worlds and Null the Destroyer of, you know, Chains or something. I feel like Skurn I'd heard of, but I don't know why. Well, Skurn, so I think it's like, I think the characters in this are Absorbing Man, Titania, uh, Atuma. See, you know, these are, these are even, these are even, you know, she, she doesn't even know because she just knows more of the Marvel movies. Um, and uh, who else? I think the I think Skrim might be the Red Skull because it's like a Hydra based one. Mm. Uh, Juggernaut. I know that one. You know Juggernaut. And then the, uh, an evil version of Hulk, I think, is, is Null Break of Worlds. I think those are like kind of what they are. Um, and then, so those are the guys you play with. And then you play against um, Uru Enchanted Iron Man and the Mighty, which like are a bunch of. They all have the names of, like, Doctor Strange and everything, but... Yeah, they're, like, basically the Enchanted Avengers. Yeah, the Enchanted... Yeah, the Enchanted Avengers is basically is basically what they are. Um, so as you can see, <laughs> this isn't maybe the best uh, expansion of uh, sets of the legendary ones. Um, it's got some cool elements to it. So basically in this card game, as you go through, you get attacking points and recruiting points. So when you go through and you've done all the attacking that you can then you recruit whoever in the in the lair is a character that you want to add to your hand that will give you either more attacking or recruiting that you feel you need at that time and that you have enough points to purchase. In place of an ally, you can purchase an artifact. So this artifact goes into your hand and some have recruiting power, some have attacking power. I think more commonly they have attacking power um, and usually it'll be like one attacking, but if you have a, another card of a certain genre, be it a tech genre or, uh, like we call it the mind bendy thingy. They have little icons, <laughs> okay. um, of a certain genre, it then will add like plus three more attacking. So they can be worth substantially more depending on the characters that are in your hand. Yeah. So there are just some different elements added to this, to this game, but one... The plots, one of the plots we played, um, and the plots are kind of like the the game, the, the rules within the rules. So like there's the overriding rules where like, you know, you got to attack somebody and you got to beat their, you know, their health or whatever. Um, so there's that. And then there's like other like mini rules like within the plots. So one of them we played was really good. Uh, Last Stand in Avengers Tower. And then the second one we played, Fear Itself, was over like, like that. Yeah, it was over really quick. Yeah, which is not fun, you know? You want these games to last a little bit, like, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, something. I mean, you like to win, but, you know, yeah. you still want a challenge. Yeah, yeah, you need games with stamina. And, <laughs> so, and then the third plot that's in this one, you can't even play with two people. Yeah. Which, to me, is a big selling point to this, to the legendary game itself, um, is being able to play with just with two people. Yep, for you sure. You know, needing more, needing more than two people, it's just like, all right, they're not then you're kind of getting in like to the Monopoly territory and games that are just really only fun with like a lot of people. Um, so that, that was disappointing as well. I don't think I enjoyed the expansion pack as much as I enjoyed the base game. Um, and maybe that's just because it, it wasn't as many characters as I knew and was familiar with. So I was a little bit less just eager and excited about them to like have them in my hand or whatnot. I mean, I am a dork, but I'm the dork that wants to like know the characters and the backstory and that you know I'm I'm that kind of dork I'm like a historical dork <laughs> um so for me I just didn't have I, I don't think enough perhaps enough comic book foundation mm -hmm. to really latch onto and get excited about these characters that I didn't know very much about so if you're a collector and you just want to collect all the expansion packs and go ahead and get uh, legendary for yourself um you know it's it, it was fun enough to, to play some of the some of the games but I just don't think it's its strongest expansion pack so it's one of the ones that I would kind of put on the back shelf and uh, you know get later and it's it's sad that it's the only villain expansion one but um, go ahead and 
you know, get some, get something else. Get, 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 start with a different expansion pack. Don't make this one your first one. Yeah, because you can use hero expansion packs even on the villain board. Yeah, and you can and, and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, you just got to change a couple of things like bindings and wounds uh, are the same thing. They just have different names. Um, so I'm layer and headquarters. It's just you know you, you can figure it out. You're you're, you're a smart smart person. I I have faith in you. <laughs> so we give a score to everything. That's kind of our shtick. It's kind of our thing. Um, so the score for legendary fear itself was a twelve point zero eight. So now we've ranked two things at this point, and we know that this one is lower. Yeah, yeah. The the big the base game for villains, um, which I actually have. Yeah. Are we gonna Vanna White the game, baby, again? Vanna White the game. Yeah, I, I can do that. So the so this game we gave a seventeen to a seventeen point eight, I think. Yep. Um, this is the base game. Um, so you can either do this one, or you can do the heroes one. And like we said before, if you like the heroes one, uh, it's the heroes one's gonna be a little bit less expensive. This one's kind of more of a collector's item, so it's going to cost you a little bit more. If you want to purchase the legendary Fear Itself, because we gave it a glowing review, <laughs> go ahead and uh, click the link down below in the description of this video. Um, you can also click that link and it'll just take you to, it'll show you the different expansion packs uh, they can get on Amazon and whatnot. Um, so go ahead and like the video if you liked it, or you know, even if you thought it was okay, maybe just give it a thumbs up. No. <laughs> um, if you want to see more of our reviews for the different legendary games or the different Marvel movies, then go ahead and uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Check out our movies. We've just finished ranking Phase 2 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm -hmm. and we are about to dive into Phase 3. Yeah, so you want to check that out? Because it's our Halloween episode for Captain America Civil War. And everybody loves dressing up for Halloween. We're no exception, so definitely check that out. Let us know what you think if you played uh, Legendary, um, the game. And especially if you played Legendary for itself, our score for Legendary was a 12.08, but... That's definitely not definitive.